What are those voices? my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. I, I have to get it. I have to... Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious... Oh, I love this song. I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. This strange and... I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. I saw this island. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear... Harry Everhart. 
my husband, my partner. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. I've still got to pack up a few more things. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. I received a mysterious package at my house. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. Harry Everhart, my husband. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you. But suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. Surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? The 
There's definitely something strange about this place. Okay, Harry. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. These wooden figures are called Un. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm. Something's missing here. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. A carving tool. An offering of Mother of Pearl, quite valuable for the Polynesians.
What a lovely flower offering. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. This sort of pond is a pulpnik. There's another symbol inside it. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But. I have to do it with you, old pal. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. What a beautiful mountainous landscape.
my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. <laughs> 